All right, guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about my Dual Strike Recon. A little bit of why it was made, why I'm no longer gonna be using it, and then I'll be shooting it for you guys. But basically, the reason I made this blaster, I don't know if I talked about this in the overview video of my Dual Strike Recon, but I made this back before anyone was hitting 200 FPS out of Retaliator internals. Uh, at the time, Chris, was hitting about uh, 200 with his uh, Crimson Recon that had a Baron Plunder Tube and then a 62 Hellman, but he was by himself. He was literally the only person that had done that. And then I was trying to follow in his footsteps and do it, but I was not able to ever reach in. So at, at the time in the market, you could only really get 12 kg Retaliator Springs, and they were the short ones, and you there wasn't very much expanded Plunder Tubes at the time. And so... I took what was a recon and a dual strike catch mechanism and I put them together because with a dual strike I was able to run long shot style springs which I could get 8, 10, 12, 14 kg springs and I could put them all in here and they would all work but I wanted to run mags with a slide prime out of a recon and so I combined them together with a little bit of homemade internals. This was the first blaster that I made the homemade internals with and it's still working after almost what like three or four years of using it in wars and it is still going strong the only reason i'm now stopped using this is because the market has gained so much in retaliator springs such as the 25 and the 28 newton spring and the blaster tech 20 27 spring for the tally the long extended springs and there's a prophecy in the cedar uh, i no longer have a need for this because when the cedar and the prophecy came out I was so intrigued with how easy it was to change out the spring combinations, whereas back when I was using this, I would play for Extreme Night at Dart Wars with a 200 FPS limit, and then I would go play for Day Play with 130, and I would want to use my recon for both of them, and so I would normally have to put uh, my 8kg long shot spring in here to hit 200 FPS, and then take it entirely apart to put a weaker spring combination in in order to hit 130 for day play. And I was having to start doing that like every day back when I used to work at Dark Wars and play there like all the time. And it started getting so annoying that I basically stopped. I just put the 200 FPS spring combo in here and then I just started building other blasters to use for day play. But I was still sad because I could never use my baby, the Dual Strike Recon that just looks so cool. Um, but now that I have the ability to hit 200 FPS out of a retaliator style internals now that I'm doing the homemade ones and the homemade catch, the homemade plunder rod and everything and I'm able to feed full lengths. I no longer have a need for this and so I was able to make my new retaliator with interchangeable barrels and interchangeable springs very easily that I no longer have a need for this. And so instead of just putting this away in a bin, maybe selling it, which I might still do, leave a comment below if you would like to buy this <laughs> blaster off me. It's really great from dual strike internals homemade put a brass rail on it it'll hit 200 fps and it's great but i thought until that happens i may as well put as heavy a spring combination as i have put a fresh barrel of 17 30 seconds it's a full foot and see just how much fps i can get out of this thing this thing's prime is quite hefty i'm still able to do it off the slide but it is quite the prime the spring loads inside is an eight kilogram long shot spring a recon spring an 8 kilogram Mega Magnus spring and a Retaliator spring. All sheathed together, it's running four springs. It is quite the beast to prime. And so I should get very nice performance out of it. I'm gonna fire off a few darts through the Nerf Chrono barrel. As I stated in the Retaliator part four build, I really don't trust this barrel. And I don't like it, but we're gonna do it anyways. And we're gonna see how much I can get out of my recon now at the time i do not have a threaded coupler on this so i'm gonna have to be holding the barrel in place but once i actually get a threaded coupler it will feed full length through a magazine off the slide so it will be a slide prime pistol hitting however much it's hitting hopefully at least over 200 since i'm running such a heavy spring combination i should be getting some nice performance but i'm gonna line up actually let me take the i'm gonna take the scar off <sighs> because then I'm actually able to put the barrel inside the chrono barrel and I'll be able to line it up better. But yeah, I have the three darts, I believe. These are full length FVJs and so we're just gonna fire it off into a piece of foam to show you guys the performance. 128. Man, that's got me inspired.
Yeah, when you get 200 with an 8kg long shot spring, but then you put another 8kg spring and two other springs, and you'll get uh, 130. Man, dude, I'm loving life. Hashtag living like Larry. 104. Truly inspiring builds. I'm going to have to work on this thing. Get it back up. And hitting well. 137. Well, it's not hitting what I would like. I would like to at least be hitting at least 230 with such a heavy spring combination. But um, it's going to be getting some more work to make this thing as strong as possible. I'm going to solidify the plunger tube in place, solidify the barrel in place, and then maybe do some work on the o-rings on the side maybe the maybe the o-rings are needing a replacement after several years of using you know maybe i don't know but yeah i'll look into seeing how heavy i can get this thing to hit and then you guys will come back i'll probably post another video that will be like hey look it shoots harder i swear <laughs> um but yeah like i said below if you guys are interested and you like the way this recon looks and you like the dual strike climbing rod uh, let me know if you'd like to buy it. I'm willing to sell it for the right price since I won't use it very much now that I have a retaliator that I like more. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video and I hope you guys will like and subscribe to our channel. But I will see you guys in the next video that we post. Alright, bye.